We are in Windows 10 Hyper-V Manager, and I'm going to show you how to add a DVD drive into your virtual machine. So first off, we want to make sure the virtual machine is turned off, and we want to right-click on it and choose Settings. From Hyper-V Settings, we need to go to where it says SCSI Controller. Now, if you see IDE Controller, it means that it's a Generation 1 virtual machine, and this will also work. Let's go ahead and choose DVD Drive and click Add. And then we see the option for, uh, for iSCSI controller, or if it's a generation one, you'll see the IDE option. Now make sure that you choose under location one of the options that's not in use. If you choose one's in use, you'll get an error. So we'll go ahead and choose number two because we can see it's not in use. Now we need to choose the media. Now in older versions of Windows, you had the option to choose your physical DVD drive, but that is no longer the case. Now you need to use an ISO file, which you can download from Microsoft uh, if, when you order your product. If it's a DVD that you have currently, you, then you can convert it into an ISO file. So we'll click on image file, and then we're going to browse to it. So we'll go ahead and browse. Now I've got an ISO file all ready to go. So I've already downloaded one from Microsoft, so I'll go ahead and double click on it, and I'll choose apply. If you get an error there, it means that you used a location which is in use and you need to use a different one. If all of your IDEs are in use because you have a generation one, then you just need to choose the SCSI controller option, which is a little bit further down, and use one of those. Go ahead and click OK. And now when we boot up into our computer, it's going to say that it's got a DVD drive and it's mounted using that Windows operating system that uh, we just had. So let's go ahead and log in and just confirm that. And we'll click on File Explorer and PC. And there it is. If we double click, we can see it is a Windows 10 disk. So that's how you add a DVD drive to a virtual machine in Windows 10 Hyper-V.